What's up everybody, this is Scratch with the Xbox Ambassadors and I got a video here for you. In this video we are going to talk about NAT, which stands for Network Address Translation. I'm going to talk about what it is, how it affects your multiplayer gaming and chatting with other people, and why it's important to have an open NAT. And if you're having trouble with it, this video is intended to kind of provide you with an overview of what NAT is, so that as you troubleshoot this complex issue, you have a little bit more knowledge um, to kind of help you understand where you're going. So I'm going to have pictures and everything, so let's get started. Okay, so let's just break this down. In your home, you will have a router, modem, or gateway that connects to your Xbox or to a computer, and then the other side of that connects to your ISP um, and where you get your internet from. Now, in an internal network or a private network, you have an IP address that is your own personal private IP address, and then you are assigned a public IP address by your ISP. This is how your ISP knows where to send information to you because it knows where it came from based on this address. Once your ISP has sent the information back to your router based on your public IP address, it's up to your router to determine which device that information came from, and it does that by using a private IP address that it assigns to each one of your devices on your network. The act of translating this public to private and private to public is called NAT, that is Network Address Translation. And depending on how that is being performed on your router and with your ISP, that is going to determine whether you have an open, moderate, or strict NAT type. So if you have an open NAT type, then you should be able to chat with other players, join other players, um, host multiplayer lobbies, and pretty much do anything with anybody else on Xbox Live that no matter what NAT type that they have. So with a moderate NAT type, you are able to chat and play multiplayer games on Xbox Live, but you're likely to run into problems connecting to other gamers, getting into games, um, staying in party chat, hearing other people, and that sort of thing. And that can be caused by a moderate NAT type because there's an issue with the translation. Same thing goes with a strict NAT type. You probably have even more problems if you are able to play online with anybody at all. Uh, because you're likely going to be pretty much only able to play with someone who has um, an open NAT type and forget it if you're trying to get into a large group of people or even play games you're really gonna probably run into um, a lot of issues and that's probably what brought you to this video to begin with. So solving the problem with whether you have a strict or a moderate NAT is gonna really depend on the hardware that you have so some basic tips that I have and things to get you started are look at things like how do I log into my router? Do you have access to your router? Maybe you're in a college dorm room where you don't even have access to the router so you're going to have even more problems probably because you don't have control of the network. If you're in a home uh, environment or you have access to the router, you're going to want to get out that router's manual or look it up online and find out how to log into the router. So it's, you log in with the username and password and the information will be in the manual or online uh, for your particular modem and then familiarize yourself with things inside such as the DMZ, whether or not um, a setting called UPnP can be set or changed and then also port forwarding or forwarding ports in your router. Like I said, this is, can kind of get complex, so you're going to want to just familiarize yourself with how your router works um, before you get started and look any further online, and that'll begin your journey to fixing your NAT. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please feel free to leave one below, and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, but keep in mind, they can all be different, so it's sometimes a little bit tough. Um, but we'll get, we'll get through it. We'll help you out. Um, but, but please feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more information uh, like this in the future. And I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. That's it.